what's going on world? I'm DJ Swaver, and this is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a sneaker that is a part of the last Adidas Consortium Sneaker Exchange collab for 2017. This collab is between Ama Minier out of Atlanta and Invincible out of Taiwan. As you all know, there's always two shoes in every sneaker exchange collab. In this particular collab, there was an NMD and an Ultra Boost. I was able to cop both of them, so I had plans on reviewing both of them for this episode. But unfortunately, due to shipping delays, we're only going to be taking a look at the NMD. To be honest with you, I'm still shocked that I even went after the NMD. 2017 hasn't been too kind to the NMD. I literally flipped a coin just to decide if I was going to pull the trigger on getting these. I guess fate wanted me to have them and to make this review video for y'all because they're right here and we're going to take a look at those in a second. But that leads me to the discussion for this video. Did the Adidas NMD die in 2017? And you want to know my answer to that? Hell yeah. Let's take it back to the glory days of the NMD. In 2015 and 2016, when Adidas released an NMD, it was almost guaranteed to sell out. And don't let it be a prominent NMD. You almost had to go to the store ready to throw hands with somebody just in case there was one more pair left in your size. That's how popular the Adidas NMD was. Fast forward to 2017, you can go to any store and you'll see the Adidas NMD collecting dust. The Adidas NMD might be the first sneaker to officially collect dust online. Yeah, bruh. Dust all in your computer. That's how far the Adidas NMD has fell off. In my opinion, the main reason the Adidas NMD fell off in 2017 is because they were releasing them literally every freaking week. I mean, how many colorways of one shoe do you need? The Adidas NMD in 2017 basically defined the laws of economics. If you have too much supply of one sneaker, the demand for that sneaker is guaranteed to go down, bruh. And that's exactly what this sneaker did. People were boohooing and crying for Adidas to make more NMD because in 2015 and 16, they were so hard to get your hands on. Adidas listened to the public and made so many units of this sneaker. Now that there's so many out there, people aren't even checking for them like that. I really hope that somebody in that Adidas corporate office kind of decides to pull back the reins on the NMD, maybe only release them every few months, and let that excitement and hype build back up for the Adidas NMD that we had in 2015 and 16. There's no reason for this beautiful silhouette to be sitting on shelves of every store you walk in. But Unfortunately, we live in a hype beast culture right now. If there's too much of something, nobody's gonna want it. But of course, I wanna know y'all's opinion on the NMD. Did the Adidas NMD die in 2017? Do you hate the NMD now because there's so many everywhere? Or do you still love this sneaker and go after as many as you can? Are you liking the fact that there's so many out there that you don't really have to fight with anybody to get a pair? Or do you wish it was a little bit more limited so you could feel like you had something exclusive? Let me know down in the comment section what you think about the Adidas NMD in 2017. While y'all are writing y'all's comments down there on the Adidas NMD, let's go ahead and take a look at this one right here. Now, as we've seen all of 2017, each Adidas Consortium Sneaker Exchange collab puts two boutiques together to design two sneakers. Most of these sneakers have a little bit more flair and a little bit more life than a normal general release Adidas sneaker. From the pictures that I've seen on social media and the internet, this sneaker is no different. But you already know how pictures on social media are. You got filters, you got photographers taking pictures at dope angles. Sometimes a picture on social media can make a sneaker look way doper than it is in your hand. I hope that's not the case with these. I don't think it will be. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. If I'm not mistaken, this is an Adidas NMD R1. But the label on the box clearly says an Adidas NMD R2. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping, but I could have swore this was an Adidas NMD R1. But whatever model it is, one thing you gotta say about this sneaker is that this joint is fire. I mean, hella fire, like fuego flames fire. Now looking at this sneaker at first glance, it kind of resembles the NMD wool pack that Adidas came out with at the end of 2016. But looking at it up close, I can see how it looks like that sneaker, but it's far different from that sneaker as well. Let's go ahead and get the basics out of the way before we look at the certain enhancements to this sneaker that make it a dope Adidas Consortium sneaker exchange collab. As with most NMDs, you have that white boost midsole going around the whole sneaker. You also have your two blocks, one in the front part of the sneaker and one in the back part of the sneaker. They're both in white. The front block also has the Adidas branding going across it. The bottom sole of the sneaker is in the black rubber material that you see on pretty much every NMD that is ever released. 
nothing different there. Now let's get into the meat of this sneaker that makes this sneaker so dope. Pause. As I said before, the upper of this sneaker is comprised in a kind of wool-like prominent. Almost makes you feel there was a reason they didn't release this sneaker until the colder part of the year. It definitely looks like it's going to be just a tad bit more warmer than a normal prominent NMD. Now this is the part of the sneaker that had me intrigued enough to even go after an NMD. If you've been on Adidas for a while, you already know that the Ultra Boost 1.0 pattern is something that makes a lot of people get excited. If you've seen an Ultra Boost 1.0 pattern in hand, you already know by far that is the dopest prominent gradient on any sneaker that Adidas has released. I love the fact that they put that 1.0 prominent pattern on this Adidas NMD. In my recollection, I don't think Adidas has ever put a 1.0 pattern on an NMD, so this might be the first of its kind. Since we're a few years removed from the Ultra Boost 1.0, Getting your hands on a DS pair or a pair for cheap is kind of hard. This sneaker right here is the perfect alternative if you've never had an Ultra Boost 1.0. That pattern right there is so sick, bruh. Normally on an NMD, the three stripe branding is made of like this cheap plastic material that they literally look like they stuck to the side of a sneaker. Sometimes that cheap looking three stripe branding on a prominent NMD can take away from the whole aesthetic of a sneaker. That definitely wasn't the case with this sneaker. Somebody on the design team for Adidas or the those two boutiques came up with a bright idea to kind of emboss the prime knit that is used on the rest of the upper to come up with the three stripe branding on the side of the sneaker. You still get the three stripe branding on the side of the sneaker that lets everybody know this is an Adidas sneaker, but it doesn't take away from the look of the sneaker as a whole. I love the fact that they did that. Sometimes that three stripe branding on a regular NMD looks corny as hell, but that's not the case with this shoe. Since this is an Adidas consortium collab, they use leather accents on this heel portion of the sneaker. I'm not quite sure what the official name of this piece right here is, so if you know, let me know down in the comment section. I love the fact that they went with the leather material on that piece right there. Kind of gives you that upper echelon, more uh, refined look to a sneaker. As you can see right there, they also embossed the Adidas branding into that leather. The inside of the sneaker is no different from the outside. The only difference is on the inside of the sneaker, you only have one block, whereas on the outside, you had two blocks. One on the front and one on the rear of the sneaker. These are the sneakers that came inside the laces when you open the box. Box. It's a black pair of laces with gray speckles. I'm not sure if that gray is 3M. I'll take a picture for y'all and let y'all know down in the description box. The sneaker also came with a pair of flat leather laces. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use these leather laces instead of the laces that came inside of the sneaker. The accents on this sneaker are all in leather. I'm kind of shocked that Adidas didn't go ahead and put these laces in the sneaker already, but don't even worry about it. I'm gonna switch these out ASAP, bruh. As with all Adidas Consortium sneaker exchange collabs, you have that leather tab going across the prominent collar of the this sneaker and you also had the official adidas consortium hole punch inside of that leather tab something about that hole punch gets me super lit bruh also included on the top of the leather tab is the invincible branding embossed into that leather as i said in multiple videos before if i have a collab i want to see the boutique that's doing the collabs branding all over that sneaker even though invincible's branding isn't all over the sneaker it's in a spot that anyone that sees this sneaker has to recognize the left shoe completely mirrors the right shoe so i'm not going to repeat myself and sound redundant the only difference between the left and the right sneaker is on the leather tab that is around the prominent collar on this left sneaker you have the i'm i'm in year branding embossed into the leather tab and for the most part that explains this adidas consortium nmd at first glance it looks like a simple prominent nmd but when you get into the details of this sneaker that's when you realize that Adidas took this sneaker to a whole nother level. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this an easy 8, bruh. We've had some whack NMDs released in 2017. We've had a few dope ones, but one could argue that this might be the dopest NMD of the year. This one might be getting my vote simply because of that Ultra Boost 1.0 prominent pattern on the upper. Whoever came up with that idea at Adidas or one of these two boutiques, kudos to y'all but y'all know what it is i want to know y'all's opinion on this sneaker are you liking the sneaker are you not liking the sneaker did you get your hands on a pair there's no reason for anybody to have struck out on this pair because they're literally sitting at a whole bunch of stores right now the sneaker retail for 200 dollars, which is kind of high for an adidas nmd but when you see the details on this sneaker in hand it completely justifies that price point since this sneaker is still sitting on websites there's no reason for anyone to be paying resale for this shoe just do your research uh 
look up some of these websites that have Adidas Consortium accounts and I'm pretty sure you can find a pair in your size. Even though there's no resale for this sneaker, that does not take away from the dopeness of this joint. I'm actually kind of shocked people are sleeping on this sneaker. But maybe once somebody sees this review, they'll change their minds and go snatch a couple of pairs. I'm kind of glad that fate made that quarter land on heads and I pulled the trigger on this sneaker. Pure dopeness. And this is the Adidas NMD that is a part of the Adidas Consortium Sneaker Exchange collab between Ama Minier in Atlanta and Invincible in Taiwan. Is the Adidas NMD dead in 2017? I think it is, but those two beauties right there beg to differ. I seriously hope that somebody at Adidas comes up with the bright idea to maybe consider putting the Adidas NMD on a shelf for a year or two just to get that excitement back. There's no reason for this dope silhouette to be sitting on shelves and losing its value. Maybe somehow, those two beauties right there will change the opinion of people on the Adidas NMD moving forward. I guess only time will tell. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up, smash that like button for me. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Be sure to hit that little bell button next to the subscribe button so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Once again, I am DJ Swaver. This was another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. And until next time, peace.